Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Keeves and welcome back to another episode of Hearts of Iron 3 with the Black Ice mod. It is May 1939 and we are playing as the Republic of China. Um, if you've been watching any of the episodes previous, you know that we're in a pretty sticky and hairy situation. Hairy, hairily, hairily sticky. Gross. Um, but essentially... Uh, we're getting attacked all over the place uh, by the forces that be. Um, we're getting attacked by Japan up here in the north, of which we are defending, albeit barely. Like, it is so on the edge of nasty shit happening that uh, yeah it's pretty bad there is a couple of things however that I just thought of and I'm going to look into this right now I'm gonna up my technology here I'm gonna lock that we're gonna lock that we're gonna give us a little more diplomacy. Essentially what I'm going to do is I'm going to start looking to see if I can get some um, do 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 lend lease type things going on here. I am also where are we? Asia. Yemen. Philippines. Dear 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 where the hell am I? Republic of China. I'm way down there. I should start drifting towards... They won't give me a land lease. Let's see. North America. U.S. Oh, their neutrality has to be less than something. Uh, Canada. Will you... Will you? Will you give me a lend lease? Uh, no. Soviets. Will you? Uh, no. <laughs> uh, who else? France. Will you give me a? No. Iraq. No. Uh, Germany. Will you give me a? No. <laughs> Uh, no. You're all hoping that somebody would give me some sort of lend lease, but nope. What about, like, what about, like, Brazil or something? Brazil, no. Shit. Here I was all excited. I had this great idea yesterday, and I'm like, oh, man, I should start asking people for lend leases. This will work great. This will solve all my problems. No. It doesn't solve shit. Because no one will give it to me. No! The only thing I can hope for is that Beiping fucks off. The attack on Beiping. Like, this is just god awful brutal. I would love a little more industrial capacity, but no dice on that front. Uh, what do we got going here? Mountain warfare equipment. Looks like across the board standard infantry branches. That's a big one. That is a big one. Let me see. Camouflage. It's not until 1941, so that's way ahead of its time. Um, we could try the uh, improved security units. We do have a lot of militia. And it also increases not suppression, but we do have a lot of militia. 
um, and increases their toughness, their max speed, their soft attack, and their hard attack on the militia. Let's see what else we got here. That's suppression, that's not important. Organization. Uh, unit cooperation, that's something interesting. Organization, increase of garrisons. I'm going to do that one. Put that near the top. What else we got here? Yes, we're going to do that one as well, and we're going to put that at the top. Also these two. Boop, boop. And what are we for Great War Analysis? Great War Analysis should be right at the top as well gives us some stuff. Armor support strength and armor strength increase. Not that important one since we only have like three armored units. Well I guess so. We got light armor. We got some light armor across the board. We're building more light armor, aren't we? No, it's infantry. We only have a bunch of armor. Uh, yeah, whatever. Any kind of strength increase is always kind of a bonus, sort of, maybe, kind of. Maybe, kind of, kind of, maybe. This is pissing me off, the fact that my units cannot defend their shit. Not even in the slightest. You know, you're in a mountain, man. You're in a fucking mountain. These, uh, you have defensive bonuses of like 500%. You should be able to defend this shit. Nope. Okay. Let's get that guy in there. That might be their only chance of defending that. We'll put you back in there. Baby. Oh, fuck my life, Baping. can't you guys defend properly? Like, jeez louise. Production. I'm actually gonna bring these down because they're doing jack all for us. They really are doing nothing at this point. Mainly because it's like our units are in such a bad position right now. Um, these places have been attacked so much that even if we got the fortresses put in there, too little too late kind of thing. That guy's coming back. The ping's down to a 10% chance of cracking them. That gives me hope. How far are you in? Oh, you're getting there. You're getting there. And if he lands, that actually might stop them. Or at least slow them down. You... Go back. Go back, young man. Oh, fuck. These guys are almost fully reinforced again.
need to go back like so. You. I'm going to have you chill out here for just a minute. I'm going to let you get a little more organization, but mostly strength back. Got a lot of strength problems. Oh, so close. If he can get there and defend that position. How far until we get some more troops? Oh, right here. May 17th and May 20th. So I'm going to put them there and there. Hopefully that will give us enough just to just to fucking stop this bullshit. Side base Sanma is doing nothing. Mobile unit strength increase. Okay. You. You. How are we looking in Beiping? Thin. We are looking thin. We do have units going back there, but still looking pretty damn thin, that's for sure. Send you back. Tianjin, we've looked thin for a long ass time. This guy, this conscript, we need to upgrade or something. Because, fuck my life, he is so bad. It's not even funny how bad he is. Okay, we got that guy in to def help defend. That's going to help a lot. Even though, fuck. Now we get attacked over there. Uh, just punch me in the nuts a little bit more, why don't you? Hey, the guy's down. Let's hit him again. Uh, fucking hit him again. And hit him again. Yeah, that garrison. Oh, no, he didn't get overrun. He just ran. He actually ran where he was supposed to. Fantastic. He went exactly where he was supposed to. Sat his ass down and said, Fuck you, man. Not a step further. Of course, he didn't say that, but you know what I mean. Okay. Let's send you back. funny because it's telling me that there's like a only a 10% chance they're going to break through Beiping. Right? 8% chance. But I'm still worried. What do we got going on here? He's almost there. Eighty-one and thirty-two. So they like their attacks aren't that strong. And then again, we're not that strong either. I don't know. I don't know what's gonna happen anymore. I just don't even know. Don't even know, man. This guy, this light armor unit, we're just gonna have to chill out for just a minute here. Let's see if we can swap some shit around here. So we have a light armor. Let's put a light armor over here and let's put an anti-tank over here. Like so. So it's slightly more whatever things. Oh, got this guy built. He's going to go right there. Maybe I shouldn't have put him right there, but he is. He's going right there.
and tomorrow we're going to get another one. When are we getting these guys? June. Okay, so, and then you are going right there. So the militia and the conscript cracked. Okay, so light infantry, you're gonna go back there. The light armor, you're gonna go back into the fray over here. Bay ping. We're doing okay. Actually, we're doing really good in Bay ping. Shin, we're doing shit. We're gonna let this guy just kind of chill out for a minute, get a little bit more organization, and we're gonna send him back in. What's going on over here? Nothing's going on over there. They stopped. They stopped. Fantastic. Artillery division shattered. Shit. That's something I didn't want. His division shattering. Where did they put him? Oh, man. We're just going to move him normally. Or should we put him down here? That's a thought. That is a thought. I'm actually going to do that. I'm going to put him down here. Absolutely brutal. Absolutely brutal. You guys I need to back off. Not because I want you to back off, because but because for some reason we have like zero fucking stuff. Zero fucking stuff. Is that the proper word for that? I don't know how to describe it. Um, organization. These units that are being built are coming in with zero organization and fuck all for strength. And they're getting rolled. Rolled up. And Zaibei Sanma has the ability to move forward, but isn't. They're just kind of sitting there, watching, waiting, being useless. And these guys, oh, these guys. We got a lot of dudes that are just kind of sitting here now. You, you, you. Go back. You and you are going to get your organization back just a little bit. So Bay Ping is down to a 4% chance of actually winning this, or taking this. And if that's the case, if that's actually... like they are lying to me, because this game has been known to lie, um, and that's pretty amazing. Because if Bay Ping stops for just a little while, just fucks off, leaves me alone, that would be great. OK. 
Okay, July 15th is our next unit that we're going to get. Next infantry unit. What do we got? D -d 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 conscript. Completely useless. I'm going to upgrade them to mountain infantry. And I'm going to move them right here. Oh, well, we can't move them. Let's see, we got an anti-tank here. What does this guy have? We have an anti-tank. Let's swap that out for that. Fascist militia can go there, and that way we put the step horse transport there. Do we have No, we don't have superior firepower yet. When is assault concentration done? Level 2 is done December 3rd, so it's going to take a while before we can actually have 8. So let's look at this again. Da, 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 that guy. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So he has 7. He's actually a really good division. I'm going to leave him alone. You know, the garrison doesn't really add anything to the combined arms bonus, but it adds a little bit of beefiness to the unit, which we need. So this guy and this guy, let's look at this again. Militia, fascist, militia, anti-aircraft. So he's at six. If we can get him a division HQ, he'd be perfect. In the meantime, that guy can go back. Let's see if we got anything with Division HQ yet. We have a conscript. So we're going to move these conscripts back one. Back here, actually. Now let's move them back here. So those conscripts we're going to move back there, and then we're going to upgrade them. I think that's how we're going to do it. Yeah, so December they'll be... He'll be upgraded. Because the conscripts right now are providing nothing. Absolutely nothing. Beiping is doing fine. This guy for some reason is getting no supplies. Why? No one knows. These guys are slowly getting <coughs> built up to full strength. However, that's, um, <coughs> sorry, that is, uh, slow going, that's slow going, let's pause it here, so still no division HQs yet. Stocks piles of 
metal. This is the first time in any game. Allow debt. Uh, fine. Fine. Maybe what that'll do is by allowing the debt. Let's see if that North America, U.S. How come all these guys won't give me shit? <laughs> United Kingdom, give me some fucking Lendleys. Do it. I'm in rough shape, boys. I'm in rough shape. Oh, here we go. Yeah, we're getting units that are hitting our garrisons down here. This is not good, man. Not good at all. Okay, cool. Nope, not good at all. there and let's see if we can just tell this guy to fuck off by hitting him nope it's not gonna work not even kind of so I'm starting to wonder I'm starting to think that this is kind of becoming a hopeless situation uh, we don't have the ability to properly defend up here and Japan is starting to attack us from the south and we don't have the ability to properly defend from the south and on top of all of this we don't have the ability to defend or attack or do anything against the jackasses known as the People's Republic of China. So we're in this really, really shitty situation on every front. There's not a single front that I'm actually confident in. There isn't a single front where I think I can hold for any decent amount of time. I'm pretty sure if I brought units down to these, like garrisons for example, down here to defend, what'll happen is Japan will start doing amphibious invasions all along the coast here. <sighs> it's rough. It's a, it's a rough situation. Um, very, very rough bad situation essentially um, they're hitting us with better quality troops the People's Republic of China is hitting us with better quality troops they're hitting us well I think the main problem is the troops that we do have here are not fully strength up and they're not fully organized um, therefore they can just hit us and keep hitting us and keep hitting us and keep hitting us and it's getting, our lines are getting thinner and the situation is becoming more strenuous. That, that on top of that, Zaibei Sanma is doing nothing. Absolutely nothing. Just watching them like fucking steamroll us and walk over us. 
Um, so yeah, regardless, uh, that is the end of this episode. This has been half hour. You know, we have... <clears throat> Excuse me, we're putting up a valiant defense, a really valiant defense, I think, um, considering the situation. Uh, we've been getting hit in Beiping and Tenjin for the better part of a year, probably, maybe even longer. Unstop, like, unrelenting attacks. It hasn't stopped for a year. Uh, Bay Ping is probably the closest that we have uh, to being fully finished in terms of the attack, but Tianjin, this could go on for fucking more years, even. Um, we do have units being built, but is it going to be too little too late? Uh, we do have units that we're going to upgrade, but again, is it going to be too little too late? Um, you know, the, the Japanese are going to start swarming up. The, as, soon, as soon as they break this, and they will break this, uh, that guard unit, or garrison unit, is not going to hold them. And as soon as they do, they're going to start swarming up that bloody coastline. And then I'm humped. Fucking humped. You know, the maybe, maybe I can get this guy there in time. But that's a big maybe. And even if I do, what is he going to do? I don't know. Uh, regardless, up here is is a, a shitty-ass situation. <laughs> probably even more shitty. That's actually <clears throat> probably our, our biggest threat right now is the People's Republic of China. Uh, it's hitting us significantly. And we have, like... Um, the horses right here is a strategic resource, which is supply throughput bonus. If we lose that, that's going to be big. Um, yeah. Honestly, don't know what to do here. Honestly, don't know what to do here. I made some serious mistakes at the beginning of the game. Um, but, yeah, it's... It's a very skin-of-our-teeth kind of situation right now, and I'm pretty sure we are fucked royally fucked so uh yeah i'm gonna end this vi uh, video here thank you all for watching um i hope that <laughs> i can continue on with more videos uh on this series if not you know i'll give this another go but yeah it's the situation is grim and dire and I, i'm i am learning a lot about how to play as the republic of china but I might have to restart this series soon. We'll see. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please hit the like button. If you want to see how poorly uh, the situation is next time, or, you know, just continue watching my uh, videos, please subscribe. And I love you guys' feedbacks and comments, so please put it in the comment section below. But until next time, Keeves out.